I haven't heard one politician acknowledge the fact that they're getting full whack in their pay, yet the small business community are being expected to accept a sharp reduction in their own income. Hi there, I'm Mark Burris. I've taken upon myself today to actually make a statement about what I think is happening to the small business community in Australia, but particularly here, right here in Sydney. Just never ever underestimate the size of the small business community in this country, in this state and in this city. It is huge. From the small business point of view, we don't see this as all us acting together because we, the small business community, are having a disproportionate hit in terms of our income relative to what everybody else is getting. We're the ones whose income is affected. And by the way, so are our employees. We're giving them less hours, which means they get less superannuation, which means that the superannuation is going to be extended. And, and also our customers. Our customers are really being pissed off and being put out there and being put out. This is not just about economic disconnect between small business and everybody else, but it's also about emotional disconnect, mental disconnect, total confusion as to what is the right policy. I don't know who's running the show. Federal governments and premiers don't agree, health ministers don't agree, and health advice isn't agreeing with each other. It's becoming quite divisive. Your policy and the policies are becoming divisive. We do not connect with what you're telling us. Who represents small business owners at the policy point? Of those policy makers, they may well be scientists, they might be famous doctors, but who of them, which of them, they might be politicians, have actually ever run a small business. Throughout all of this, all of last year, and now, even more importantly, right now, I haven't heard one politician, not one of them, acknowledge the fact that they're getting full whack in their pay, yet the small business community are being expected to accept a sharp reduction in their own income. The very first politician to get up and put their hand up and say, you know what? I'll take a reduction in my pay by 20% for argument's sake for the next, for the period of the lockdown and for the next seven weeks after that, for the ensuing period of recovery, that particular individual will be a true leader in my eyes and will truly be doing this together with the small business community. I know everybody's doing their best, okay? I get it. But real leadership is about being inclusive. And we, the small business community, don't feel like we're being included in the leadership decisions. So that's what it's about. The small business community, which is not small, it's huge, must be included in the decisions.